Welcome to our Legacy Church Christmas Eve worship time. I want to encourage you to set the atmosphere wherever you're watching from, and let's enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit tonight as we celebrate in song and worship the true meaning of Christmas. We invite the Holy Spirit into our homes and to remind us what this season is really all about. Let's pray together. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this time of the year where we get to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that the joy of the Lord would fill our hearts. Remind us again the good news that Jesus came, not only to die for our sins, but Lord, he resurrected to give us new hope and new life in him. Let your Holy Spirit fill our homes now as we worship you and we enjoy all that you've done for us in Jesus' name. We read the story of the birth of Jesus in Luke chapter two, and this isn't just a story, this is a historical event that really changed the course of history. The Bible says in Luke chapter two, during those days, the Roman emperor Caesar Augustus ordered that the first census be taken throughout his empire. Quirinius was the governor of Syria at that time. Everyone had to travel to his or her hometown to complete the mandatory census. So Joseph and his fiancee Mary left Nazareth, a village in Galilee, and they journeyed to their hometown in Judea to the village of Bethlehem, King David's ancient home. They were required to register there since they were both direct descendants of David. Mary was pregnant and nearly ready to give birth. And when they arrived in Bethlehem, Mary went into labor and there she gave birth to her firstborn son. After wrapping the newborn baby in strips of cloth, they laid him in a feeding trough since there was no available space in any upper room in that village. That night in a field near Bethlehem, there were shepherds watching over their flocks. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared in radiant splendor before them lighting up the field with the blazing glory of God. And the shepherds were terrified, but the angel reassured them saying, don't be afraid for I've come to bring good news, the most joyous news the world has ever heard. And it is for everyone everywhere. For today in Bethlehem, a rescuer was born to you. This is the Lord Yahweh, the Messiah, you will recognize him by this miraculous sign. You will find the baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a feeding trough. Then all at once, a vast number of glorious angels appeared, the very armies of heaven, and all praised God singing, glory to God in the highest realms of heaven, for there is peace and good hope given to the sons of men. And when the choirs of angels disappeared, the shepherds went to one another and they said, let's go, let's hurry and find the word that is born in Bethlehem and see for ourselves what the Lord has revealed to us. So they ran into the village and they found their way to Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in a feeding trough. Some versions of the Bible say lying in a manger. Upon seeing this miraculous sign, the shepherds recounted what had just happened. And everyone who heard the shepherd's story was astonished by what they were told. But Mary treasured all these things in her heart, and she often pondered what they all meant. And the shepherds returned to their flock, ecstatic over what had happened. They praised God, they glorified Him for all they had heard, and all they had seen, just like the angel had said. Let's worship together and let's allow the Holy Spirit to bless us during this time of year, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, hey. 
There's nothing you can do. You're faithful and true. Though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I'll remain steadfast. And let my heart learn when you speak a word, it will come to pass. Great is your faithfulness to me. Great is your faithfulness to me. From the rising sun to the setting same, I will praise your name. Great is your faithfulness to me. Did you know your baby boy one day walk on water? Did you know your baby boy save our sons and daughters? And Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Did you know? you 
One more time, sing holy. You are holy, holy. You are holy, holy. You are holy, holy. Jesus, I love you. I pray that you were blessed by this worship time, and I want to encourage you to join us this Sunday as we continue to celebrate Jesus and the Christmas season. We have a concert that's going to be spectacular at the 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock church services at Legacy. And I encourage you to bring some friends, bring some family, because this Sunday is going to be amazing. I hope to see you there. Merry Christmas.